Hey guys, how's it going? It's uh, Nick. Alright, so today it's on deck. We are going to be doing a versus. The Virtue Crown versus the Trinity Quicklid. Um, the Virtue Crown, I believe they make it to fit almost every hopper out there now. Um, I'm not sure about the tire rotors. I think they have their own speed feed system. Uh, I never really looked into it because I don't honestly like the look of them and don't want to bother with them. Um, anyway, I'm probably going to get flamed pretty bad for that. Okay? Shoot me. Anyway, um, so I got this uh, Trinity Quickly today in the mail. Uh, I bought it from uh, Paintball Gateway. Um, I also got a new product that I'm going to be reviewing too. Um, it's been out for a little while, for I'd probably say about half a year now. But, uh, I'm going to do my own little thing on it for you. So anyway, so we're going to do the verses here. Um, there's not a lot to, 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 to base off of. Um, just because there's their speed feeds, they're not overly complicated, so there's not a lot of, you know, knowledge that, that most people don't already know. Um, anyway, these, this is, these are, um, the most common type of speed feeds that you used to see. Um, are with the little plastic fingers. Um, simple, straight to the point, but they work really well. Um, hold the paintballs in. You know, a lot of people used to, you know, can make homemade ones to this particular design, but, um, in my opinion, I, I just spend the 15 bucks at 50 is cost and buy one there. Just, it's just easier and it just works better. Anyway, so what we're going to do, basically, is I'm going to talk about the strengths and weaknesses of each, um, speed feed. So I'm going to start with the Virtue Crown. Alright, first impression of the Virtue Crown when I got it, um, was... I heard a lot of bad things about it, but I'm not a person to judge, so I give it my own try. But, um, a lot of people think that if you use them a lot, they don't always come, the fingers go in. Yes and no. Um, it really depends. I mean, if, if you shoot a ton of paint and you're constantly reloading your hopper, yeah, and anything would get weak if you constantly use it every 60 seconds. But, you know, I mean, it, it really depends on how, on, on if you're, if you play every single weekend, or, or any, you know, to that extent, it's going to get, you know, things are going to get weak. Um, but it works well. What There are um, ways to get the crown to not do that. Um, you, you take the crown off and you put, like, a soup can or something heavy on it and leave it there for a day or so. And the fingers uh, begin to take shape at, back to the normal. I believe this is the Ultra Soft. Um, this hopper came with this, but I've had the hopper for a little while now. Um, so this is just a stock Halo B with um, rip drive and the crown. Um, the crown works great because it doesn't, it, it, when, it, when the paintballs go in there, they, they're in there. They're not going to come back out. I know you'll see a lot of times in the videos, people feed the paintballs and there'll be some sitting on top. These, this hopper, I, uh, holds just about a full pod, so it doesn't do that really. Um, for, I use the die lockers mostly for pods, so they hold just about, um, 195-ish. Sitting right in there, um, and this is about the hopper hold. I think 210. Uh, I think the max was, was tested with hopper was like 210, something like that. It was a long time ago. I, I watched the video on it, but um, so what? So basically, it's made out of some kind of uh, silicone material. It's made out of basically silicone. I'm pretty sure, um, and it's pretty thick. It's not like it's not like paper thin. It's it's decently thick. Um, there are six fingers, uh, three on each side. Um, yeah, that one, two, no. There are seven fingers, no, eight fingers. Yeah, four. Wait, wait, just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so eight fingers. And, uh, no. God, it's seven. Seven fingers. Sorry, guys. I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, so basically what we're going to do, we're going to see how easy it feeds. Uh, pod dialogue, uh, just put one pod, full pod, so... Well, we got, I must have put in two extra in there. I usually don't overfeed the pot. Alright, so they're in there. Um, hold it back pretty good. They're not coming out. You can see it's kind of bulging, but nothing's coming out of it. So, um, that's basically it with, uh, with the, the crown. The crown, in my opinion, gets an 8 out of 10. Uh, the reason is, is because of the, the reason why it's not a full 10 is because nothing perfect. But, uh, why it's not higher to a 9 or an 8.5 is because um, that you have, so that the fingers do get weak, that's not my only problem with it, but so far it doesn't, it doesn't really happen to me that bad, I just kind of bend them back and they usually stay pretty good, but, um, as far as innovation, it's 
pretty cool. I like the design. I also like the adjustable collar, how you can stick that on there, how it's not just the crown. It makes it a lot more stronger and easier to take off in most cases. Uh, you don't have to tear the whole hopper apart just to get the crown off. That That's the cool part. The crown is commonly, is commonly available for the Halo series, Magnus, I think the, they make one, I think it'll fit the Journey too. Um, Torx, it'll fit the Velocity and Velocity Junior. So, uh, yeah, now next we'll get to the, uh, the batteries that have been in the top, which I think is slow, but anyway. Come on. Get out. Oh, Alright, right, so that is conclusion for the Virtue Crown. Definitely a, a good little uh, investment. I think they're 25 bucks. Um, yeah, it's itself $25 new. Um, okay, so now, Trinity Quickly. Uh, simple design, very effective. It's all, it's all pl like an ABS type plastic. Um, it's got a uh, Uh, wait, is that the second one? No. It's got five little fingers. Um, and basically what they do is they're connected by the back, they just bend forward, you put the pod in there, straight forward, it works. Um, $15 for these, a little cheaper than the crown, um, but it works just as good, in my opinion. You see these a lot. Uh, this is what they... This is really some of the first speed feeds out there, I, I'm pretty sure anyway, that fit the velocities and, and the other ones that they made. Um, it's not much to say about it. The only, the, my only problem with it is, is, is that you have to, you do have to tear the whole hopper part to put it on. You take the pin out of your lid, put it in there. It's not a big pain in the butt. I mean, you can still open your hopper normally. Um, I don't see why you would, but you can if you have to clean inside of it, do a spot cleaner or whatever. You can do that. Uh, so it's on the same hinge as the other one. It doesn't require your spring, so I suggest you would get like a little um, baggy. You know, like you might see like your mom or dad or whatever they buy a shirt. They might have like button, little buttons. See if you can get like a little bag that stick the spring in there and put it in your box or wherever, so you know where it's going to be. If you have to put the cover back on, because the cover doesn't work very well without the spring. Um, so basically, you just do this. You just stick the it goes in pretty good. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't go in all. The fingers sometimes don't fold up. So once you start shooting, they do. But when they do fold up, they they hold the paints in there. It ain't coming back out. Um, it it works. I mean, I don't think you can get any more simple than this. Um, I personally have always liked these just because of the simplicity and because how effective they are and the fingers for the most part, do always stay that, like that. They don't really go down that bad. You know, like, they get that bend after after a while of use. So, it's effective, cheap, and decent quality. Uh, and plus, Trinity makes good products. Uh, I've always been pretty impressed by what Trinity pumps out. They make some really cool products, accessories and whatnot, that fit, you know, that work on hoppers, guns, etc. Um... And, yeah, the, 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 their price range is good, too. Um, so, basically, that's it. So, I give this one uh, probably a 9 out of 10. Um, no reason why it's not a 10. Nothing's perfect, in my opinion. Um, everything has room for improvement in some area. But, this is pretty simple, cheap, and effective. I mean, it, and it, plus, they make it to fit almost every hopper. So, I mean, it works out really, really well. Um... My recommendation, if you're looking for a speed feed and you don't want to speed, you know, get a Virtue Crown, get one of these. Um, Trinity makes awesome stuff. You can get it from just about every retail. Every local pro shop probably has some. Um, Axe Village Paintball Gateway, Compulsive Paintball, I know they all carry it. So, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, guys.